Well, here we go with number one again, and it seems to be in every series of numbers that we've been looking at from the counting numbers and the triangular numbers. And um, this time, we're going to look at adding s subsequent triangular numbers to this. So here's the first triangle number, and we know the next triangle number is three. So we're going to see what happens when we add those together. But let's see if we can add them in a different way this time. So when we added triangular numbers before, we always sort of added the next triangular number in the same plane. Well, this time, let's actually start looking at creating a, a more of a 3D sort of object. And so not only will it get bigger at the base, etc., but probably taller as well. And notice what it starts to form. If you look at the, um, the three red balls there, they actually form the corners of what's called a tetrahedron. And so that's why we're going to call these tetrahedral numbers. So we started with the first number, which is 1, and then we added the next triangle number 3, and so the total is 4. Now let's add another row. So the next triangle number is 6, and so when we add the 4 that we've got and the 6, now we've got 10. But I think it's interesting to note that these numbers now are precisely coming out of Pascal's triangle on that next row. And so we should be able to predict how many will be in the next row, because that... that series goes 1, 4, 10, 20. So if we add the next triangular number, we should get a tetrahedron with 20 balls in it. And so when we look at this um, tetrahedron now, it actually does have 20, um, 20 balls in it. Notice it's by adding the, the next triangular number to the series and and you'll see that from Pascal's triangle. I think the interesting thing to start now is that, see, we're starting to use Pascal's triangle as a device where we're actually using it to predict what's going to happen in the future. A lot of the other exercises we've done so far, we've always gone from the concrete and then moved more to the abstract, perhaps with the algebra. This time, we're sort of going back the other way. We've started with something else that's starting to give us predictions that we can test with concrete materials. So here's the next tetrahedral number. Um, I don't think I'll tell you how many's here. I reckon you should be able to work it out for yourself. Have fun counting on.